all right welcome back so i am starting a new series where i just commentate my booked raw show so as you can see we had macho man versus hulk hogan for the wcw world heavyweight championship which was won by the macho man which means hulk hogan has now been dethroned where does he go from here to remember he does have a rematch clause will it happen next week will it have a survivor series will it happen at another pay-per-view because i forgot to put this one merged shared with the other pay-per-views who knows find out in this video soon or maybe later because i might play one more match so let's keep going and then, just as we witnessed in the last video, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, the Outsiders, have won the World Tag Team Championships for the Brothers of Destruction. It's a dark day today, but you know what? They are champs. I gotta accept it. And they got a target on their back. Let's see how they do it. And tonight, our next match, we got Ricochet versus Carmelo Hayes. And just kind of phasing out this character... Ricochet is really fun to paint the skin. This guy moves so quick and so fast. He's genuinely such a blast to play with. So he's not in WWE anymore, which sucks. But I love being Ricochet every time I play him in this game. It's great. And he has been world champion in this match, in this game, multiple times. So, yeah. Here he is. And he also bags Samantha Irving. I mean, he's already winning in life, right? So, yeah, Ricochet. And ladies and gentlemen, this is an Extreme Rules match. Ricochet versus Carmelo Hayes. Two Gs going at it at a time. By the way, 198 pounds. That is crazy. I thought this man was at least 200. Makes sense why he's so goddamn quick. I'll skip this. Let's go. Oh, I, I, I missed this. I missed the flip. I forgot he did a flip. I'm sorry, guys. There he is. Carmelo Hayes. Yeah, bro. Let's go. Um, you know, I don't have any plans of buying 2K24 unless if it is very cheap. I feel like ever since 2K took over, the games are very similar. If you have 2K23, you're technically playing 2K24, just maybe just the people aren't updated. But, you know, it is what it is. But damn, Carmelo Hayes, my man, is here to play. I'm Ricochet, so obviously Ricochet is going to win the match. Or I'm going to try my very best to make sure he wins the match. But Carmelo Hayes is also a very skilled character. And maybe down the road we will give him something. But right now it's Ricochet's time to shine. As I say that, let's see if I am able to. Sometimes there are times where I do play as a character I want to win. And they never do win. So, who knows. Yeah, let's skip this. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's go, bro. As I mentioned, this is an extreme rules match. So let's do it. Oh, look, the referee's ball too. Ricochet, your hey, brother. See that? That move is insane. Whoa, why is he? Whoa. Oh, what? Uh, okay. Show off. Watch this. Get kick in the face, boy. I love this move because it's just like it's so aggressive. Just like he comes out, and this is a cool move too. Look at this. Wait, what am I? Oh, uh, I thought that was more. I'm sorry. Wow, what a show off. I, Ricochet for Carmelo Hayes would have actually cooked in real life, just as it is cooking right now, and it's like a couple minutes into the match. Um, all right, let's see what do I got. A table. I want to put this guy through a table. Oh, if I can set it up, I suck at setting up tables. Uh, I don't know if anyone else is, but I usually tend to set these up in the corner, just so that. Yep. Oh, he brought up a lat. Okay. Okay, sir. I'm trying to play that game. I'll play that game, bro. Like, what's up? Oh. Yeah, boy, you would have thought. I'm hitting you with your... You know, I might do a ricochet for Shawn Michaels on here. You know, one thing about 2K23 I really like is the realism is there. Like, it feels like you're actually playing a real match. Just, I feel like the back and forth. Like, I've had so many bangers here that lasted a good maybe 20 minutes sometimes. And it genuinely felt like, it felt like I was, like, you know, I was a wrestler in a WWE, which, you know, obviously, how do I set this up again? Okay, I need to learn how to set shit up, because I forgot. Oh, I think it's X, I'm an idiot. Look at that, dude. Look at that, that's insane. I'm not trying to glaze Ricochet, but he really is that skilled in real life, and oh, I got wrecked. It was A, though, guys, so, well... Ladder just standing. Yeah, pussy, get out of here. 
Let me set this shit up real quick. All right, there we go. There we go. Now I got it. Oh, boy. Okay, I don't know why I didn't move out of the way. I should have. Can't he do a dive too? All right, I'm going to climb. I'll meet him up there, bro. Like, let's go, bro. Yeah, boy. What's up, boy? Come here, boy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go, bro. Watch out. Oh, ow. If you guys can hear it, the chant, the, the, the crowd is chanting, this is awesome because they know game. And I think that's what adds to realism, honestly speaking. Do not put me through a table. Do not put me through a table. Do not put me. Oh, he's putting me through a table. Oh. Oh, man. That was for you, man. Oh, and I got wrecked. And I'm bald. This is a terrible day for me. Uh, so, yeah, the crowd is actually chanting, this is awesome, in the game. Um, it's pretty great. Man, get your ass out of here, bro. What you think I am? Because I'm bald doesn't mean you can walk all over me. I'll beat your ass up. Let's go, bro. I forgot what his finisher was. I feel like he's a really cool finisher. Something like absolutely insane. Get down. We'll keep going up. I want to do some cool stuff here. Boy, come on. Oh, I completely botched that. Botcha mania. Just leave the ring normal. You don't got to do all that jumping, bro. Can I get another table? I can. Let's go. Okay, he definitely cooked me with that. I hope I can cook him again. But let's see how this works. And not out, boy. I am cooking right now. I can pick up this damn table. D no, the table. I keep forgetting if it's R1 or L1. Assuming it's L1, but... I think one thing that's hard is reversals, definitely. I mean, I just got that one, but it's really hard to time it sometimes. It's just like... Okay, I want to do a dive. Let me see if I can do this dive. Yeah, I'll do this. This, this works. Boy! Yeah! I mean, I think you guys can tell how fast this guy actually is moving. It's pretty... It's actually pretty insane. Uh, his stamina is kind of like all over the place here. Oh, shit. Let me just get up the top rope real quick. Boy! Oh, back rip! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That's what- oh, charge finisher, huh? Can I? Well, actually, did I already do it? Alright, he reversed it, that's fine. Get in, get in, get- Oh, come on, do not put me through a table again, bro. How crazy would that be? That's just embarrassing. End the video. Well, okay, he just fell. Botch me again. Wow, he told- oh, I got his ass back, what's up? Yeah, get hit again, bro. Get hit again, bro. I lost the finisher because he reversed it. I think that's... I think one thing here is that a lot of them end up reversing your finisher and it makes you lose it. And you just kind of had to gain that momentum back, which is, like, pretty goddamn annoying. But it is what it is. Okay, I, I want to put him to the table. Then I'm going to end the match because... Oh, snap. I usually never try to play to five stars, by the way. I think four is enough, because I get in- Oh my god, whoa. Ow, that hurt. Thank god, I usually suck at kicking out. Um, yeah, so I never try to do five. I think once it gets to four, I'll get a good, like, 459. And then, you know, because I book these matches myself, where, like, I created, I don't let the universe create it. There's some kind of enjoyment because it's me who's created. Like, I want to see this. I want to play this. But, like, sometimes those AI ones are just, like, so terrible. And also, like, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like, man, I think I'm going to lose this match. I yapped too much. I lost it. Aww. I yapped so much during this match. I lost it. But you know what? Respect Carmelo Hayes. Proved he's the better man tonight. Respect to that.
Um, let me switch back to commentary style. Oh my god, Carmelo Hayes has won the match. What an amazing match between two skilled superstars. Today, Carmelo Hayes comes out on top. Next week, who knows who will come out on top. Keep watching Raw for amazing action. I respect. I don't, um, and when you lose, you actually get 28, which makes sense because you lost. But I think you should get either way. Like, if the rating is as high, I feel like you should get the same amount of credits you would have gotten. But moving on to our next match, it is a fatal four way match. Uh, false count anywhere. We got Batista versus John Cena versus Roddy Piper versus Brett the Hitman Hart for the Universal Champion. And yes, as you know, this is a really, really weird universe. I do not really follow the rules. I have a World Heavyweight Championship, I have the Universal Championship, I have an ACW Championship, something that I created. Um, and then I have the Intercontinental Championship and then the U.S. World Heavyweight Championship. Why? Because I am unhinged and I like it this way because sometimes structure is never needed in everything. So, yes, it is a fatal four-way match. Batista versus John Cena versus Roddy Piper versus Bret Hart. Now, what's a risk with these is I usually pay this for fun, but there are sometimes there'll be days where I just, you know, I create matches because i just need credits to get more people so in a match like this i don't care who wins if brett wins cool if batista wins who's me cool if john cena wins great if roddy Ryder piper wins cool i just want to have fun in the match but there will be times where i'm like okay i need some credits i need to buy a wrestler who's like a thousand credits and i don't know by the way if the currency is called credits i'm calling it credits because it's not money so it is what it is but yeah so like i said in this match pure fun and as you see i had the raw 2005 stage which i always thought was a really cool stage really og so yeah so here we have the animal batista who has an opportunity to win the universal championship tonight on raw and then as we go our next challenger is john cena 20 f years of john cena i actually have not finished the showcase i think i completed it up to where you got kurt angle because i do love kurt angle one of my favorite games was raw versus smackdown 2007 where i used to pay on my psp and kurt angle was my go-to he was the og every time in gm mode i drafted him first he was always there um and speaking of gm mode i know it exists in this game but I don't know. I feel like there's so much more improvements made, and they could have easily just followed the same script as 2007 and made, uh, you know, made improvements on that. They did not, so it sucks, but it is what it is. Maybe I'll buy 2K24. I don't know if I see it for 20 bucks. I definitely will pick it up. That's why I got 2K23, but I'm not paying 70 for 2K24. That's for sure. And here we have Brett the Hitman Hart, the champion himself. The man was screwed in 1997 at the Montreal screw job, and he was a bitter man until he found the cure. Actually, he found a way to time travel to his youth, and now he is back in his heyday to face the wrestlers of today, just the same as Rowdy Roddy Piper. And he is currently the WWE Universal Champion, so that tells you how well he's been doing for himself. So that's right, tonight this match is going to be amazing. We got Batista, we got John Cena, we got Rowdy Piper, and we got Bret Hart. And we got four amazing athletes facing for this wonderful red belt, prestigious red belt. Um, yeah. Let's see who wins, baby. I also do like the quality of the belts. They look more like belts. I think to get 22, they looked kind of like a toy. In my opinion, which kind of bothered me. I try not to nitpick, but it was still pretty annoying. Who am I again? I forgot who I am. Oh, I'm Batista. Wait, am I Batista? Well, he just went up the road. Did I do that? Wait, I'm pressing square. Uh, okay, I am Batista. Okay, I don't know why I went up the road, but at least that worked. Um, so this is a false count anywhere match. Like I said, this match could go any way. Um, I could win it. Bret Hart could win it. Roddy could win it. I mean, I'll try my best to win it. Usually it's cool because you get credits. You can get more wrestlers. Um, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. What? Back behind the move, you dick. John Cena's getting feisty from the beginning. Why did I come back in? I should have gone out. Leave me alone, Bret Hart. Just because you invented time travel does not mean you can beat my ass. Okay, he never did that move in real life, did he? I don't know. I got to watch this match anymore. So the ref is out. Whoa, did I just block that? Huh. 
Nice. Boy, get out of here. Oh, John, you trying to fuck with me, dude? I'll put him back in the ring, huh? Why'd the ref follow me back, bro? There's nothing to do here. What the hell is Batista wearing? Why is he green? Yeah, come at me, bro. You thought I was yapping? Nah, bro, I was paying attention. Man, I'm gonna beat him up just for beating me up. You get out of here, boy. Get out of here, boy. Oh, wait, what? Already? I was about to say. Let's get a weapon out, boy. Wow, I... <laughs> so rude. She's trying to get a weapon out, my man. I don't even know when I got Roddy Roddy Piper. I just put him in because I haven't actually played as him or seen him his entrance so it's interesting one thing you'll notice about this show is this is where all the legends stay i tend to leave raw smackdown um nxt alone i feel like it overwhelms me but you know maybe i should start playing by show just to see what's going on like i said i i i'm not a fan of the ai with the uav wb universe sometimes i feel like it just gets very repetitive and it's cool when you like are booking your own dream match you feel it feels more of gm mobile with more of a you know, freedom. Um, I tried to break that up, but I couldn't, so thank God he kicked out. And if John Cena wins, I won't be mad, but, you know. Come on, John. What are you doing? Leave him alone, bro. Yeah, get wrecked, boy. Bro, I just helped you. Why are you on me? Bro. It's old bums, bro. I love Bati Oh, <laughs> get out of here. Oh, what's up, John? What's up? You trying to square up, babe? Let's go. Let's square up. Square up, bro. Bam! That's what I'm talking about, bro. The animal Batista. He doesn't do this often, but I'm about to go up. Who's pinning who? Okay, I was about to say. That ref is slow as hell. Whoa. Batista did a... Was that a frog splash? Oh, my God. I haven't played this game in a while, so if you notice, I'm not really using as much combos because I don't remember them. Um, my battery is low. Yay, cool. Let me see if I can get to it. I am out of the ring, so let me just chill outside for a ring while I look for my battery. Um, remember kids, always charge your battery so you can play games. Oh my god, did- Oh, did he just throw his ass out of the ring? God damn, Cena! Okay. Super Cena back at it again. Let me just plug this little thing in here. Let's plug it in again. Am I getting a mask? Okay, of course I am. What's up, Brody? What's up, Brody? God, he... Yeah, you're hell. You're cooked now, bro. You are so cooked. Wait, Brett, don't do anything. He, This man is so cooked right now. It's over. Oh, it's over. Yeah, bro. Oh, he... Re this is what I mean. Every time, there's so much... There's a bigger chance of your finisher getting reversed than you actually hitting it. And it's ridiculous. But, like, there's also, like, a lot of instant recovery stuff that I noticed. Like, you could take a tube stone and get instantly recovered. And it's like, okay. That was a terrible grapple. What was that? Okay. Did not expect that. Oh, my God. Did he hit me with a tube? Oh, my. Uh, pile drive? You're kidding me, bro. Grow up, Brad. Come on. Here's a chair. Oh my god, run, 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 run. Oh god, ow. <sighs> Rude. I love how slow this ref is. Like, he just can't count. He has to be outside if the count is outside while being inside. Like, I don't I don't understand that glitch. What a dumb glitch. Brett seems tired. If I could take this away from him, I would love that very much so. Yeah, reverse that shit, boy. I just realized this is false count in, or I could pin him right now. Why is he running at me? Oh my god, don't run at me, guys. Oh, now you want to break it up. Okay. Annoying ass. There's another thing about false count anywhere and a fatal four. There's just too many distractions going on. I think, I genuinely think a single one on one is the best. Okay, I. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing this, but might as well. Should be fun. 
Yeah, I'll see what's up. See, why does he need to do that? He can count easily on the other side. Like, I'll still, it'll still count, dude. Like, you do not need to be near me for this to count. Just count it. I feel like they should really change that. Is John Cena winning this match right now? Oh, no. Brett Loki guy has that dog in him, bro. This man has been getting wrecked this entire time. And he's just like, he's really not like, do I even have it? Yeah. Yeah, boy. I'm talking about boy. What the hell was that? Seems so sloppy. Jesus Christ. Yo, ref. Yo, are you serious, ref? It's a ref. You guys saw that, right? Yo, what? I. Oh, did I just screw job? Screw job. This is a screw job. Mm mm. See that even Batista know this is a screw job. All right, you know what? Next week, because I'm also the GM and the co-owner, Bret Hart versus Batista for the title. No holds barred. That's how it goes. Wow, I cannot believe you guys saw a screw job on my very first telecast of Raw. That is insane. Look at this. Clearly, he was pinning first, but he decided to shift to the actual submission. That bald-headed ref, bro. Only bald, no thoughts. Terrible. He is fired. Brett really got his revenge back. He really got his lick back. He said, you screwed me in 1997. I'm going to screw you, Batista, in 2024 because Vince is not playable in this game because he's a rapist. Gotcha. Like I said, look at the realism of those belts. That looks so nice. Like, it actually looks like Brett could hold that belt. I mean, still ugly, but the graphics look very nice. All right, Brett. Good job, Hitman. Good for you. This is a no holds barred match. But you know what? I think I'm going to save off on this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please tune in next time. I don't know when the next time will be. When I play Shawn Michaels versus Kurt Angle. I might play this on my own time. But for the next episode of Raw, I will definitely do a full walkthrough of the show and what I have booked. So thanks for watching everybody. Like, subscribe, and enjoy your day.